vibrant, colourful and exciting. This was Blue Town in its heyday, a haphazard collection of crazy wooden buildings clustered around courtyards and alleys and along both sides of the high street thronged with people and life. Tinkers, tailors, soldiers, sailors, rich men, poor men, vagabonds and thieves, barefooted urchins in rugged clothes, flower girls, match sellers, drunks, vagrants, peddlers, prostitutes, pickpockets and convicts in chains, ship's officers, captains, admirals and a prince who would be king could all be found in Blue Town. It was said that every second building in Blue Town was a pub and every third a brothel. There were overcrowded tenements with often a family to a single room, but there were theatres, musicals, baldy houses, a doss house where for tuppence you could sleep hanging over a rope. There were schools, synagogues, and a religious meeting house where John Wesley preached. There was a Jewish community and a thriving business community with chandlers, booksellers, butchers, fishmongers, tailors, bakers, ironmongers, bootmakers, hatmakers, pawnbrokers, grocers and shopkeepers of every kind. Blue Town had something for everyone, especially thirsty sailors who had spent a long time at sea. If you think this looks like something from a Dickens novel, you're right, because as a child, Charles Dickens lived in Blue Town with his family and certainly would have remembered Blue Town when he wrote his books. Then along came Vice Admiral Sir Isaac Coffin, resident naval commissioner at Sheerness, who knocked down half of Blue Town High Street to build the dockyard wall. Blue Town was built from wood chips and painted in blue ship's paint. A settlement of makeshift houses was built by dockyard workers as accommodation on the periphery of Sheerness Royal Dockyard. In the 18th century, taking chips from the dockyard was a perk, often in lieu of wages. Chips had to be less than three foot in length and able to be carried under one arm. The houses were painted in dark blue ship's paint and indeed other colours. The paint in the dockyard was mixed when required from turpentine, linseed oil and pigments. It would be used at once and if not used, it would quickly skin over and go hard. And so the town painted in blue ship's paint was called Blue Town.